it's gross out. It is very windy, very stormy where I'm at. So I apologize if you start hearing like a, you know, because that's this that's the uh, that's outside. Also, my dishwasher is almost done, but I was like, he might as well just start it there. No one's gonna care. No one's gonna hear it, right? So like. Maybe not the most opportune time to film, but... but <laughs> We're here. We're doing it anyway. There's no rules. I make the rules. This is my channel. Gosh darn. <clears throat> Welcome back! What's up guys, it's Ange, and today we're gonna be watching The Last Crusade, Indiana Jones, third movie. I am so excited and I'm so happy that you guys loved my reaction to the first two films and I'm really, really, really excited to watch this one because everyone has been saying that this is their favorites and I'm, I'm, I've been highly anticipating it. And it's because of you that I expect high standards of this film. I say that as if I'm not like the easiest grader of like movies. Like I, it's really hard for me to not like a movie in, unless the movie's titled Kung Fu Panda 3. <laughs> Kung Fu Panda 4 commentary will be coming out. Don't you worry. I have not watched it and I, it is going to be a video. Don't you, don't you worry. Before we begin, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. You, the one that's not subscribed, subscribe. Cause it help, it will help much a bit channel. We're gonna be, we're almost at a quarter mil. You know, 250,000, it'd be awesome. Yeah, you'd be doing me a favor, sure. But like, how hard is it for you to hit a button? Hit the button. Follow me on Twitch. I live stream every Monday and Thursday, playing a lot of Baldur's Gate, and we're literally on the last week of Last of Us. Actually, in the time that you're watching this video, I would have finished The Last of Us, and we're gonna be starting a new walkthrough of a mystery game in the following, in the, in the, in the soon. It's really hard to gauge out when that's gonna be for you, probably like, in a few days for you. <laughs> Whenever Thursday is <laughs> for you upcoming. Cut all that out. Just do the the Baldur's Gate and Last of Us. <laughs> if you guys want to check out the full length uncut commentary to this movie, make sure you check out my Patreon page. We can gain full access to that and future movie slash TV shows that I do on this channel. Alrighty y'all, let's jump straight into the commentary. <sighs> Where is this? It's like Utah. Like Arizona, this is beautiful. Who are you? You're not Indiana. Indy. Oh. Indy. What are they doing? Oh my God! This is like Indy as a boy. Utah. Who called it? Who called it? I did. That was me. Put me on. Put me. I'm National Geographic. GeoGuessr. Top one, top 10. I love the crucifix. Very uncharted. Which by the way, when I say something is very Tomb Raider or like very uncharted, so many people are upset at this. Obviously I know those came after. They fully took inspiration from this movie. I think it's really funny that you guys are like, try the other way around. And I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> What are the odds that they end up on a circus train? Reese, is this one your favorite because there's a train involved? Because I bet you it is. Snakes, of course. Is this why he doesn't like snakes? Because he's about to fall into this pit? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That'll definitely do it. That'll definitely trigger a phobia. Come on, kid. No way out of this. Does Indiana like look up to you though? Cause like you have the same hat as him. It's like, do you mentor him? Or do you like, oh, whip? That's where he gets it from? I love it. And then he magically disappears. That's so cool. I love that. Dad. <gasps> Daco, Husky! Does the rightful owner of this cross will press charges to give it back. Was this like a paid job for him? I'm dead. It was a paid job. You lost today, kid. 
It doesn't mean you have to like it. You lost today, kid, but it doesn't mean you have to like it. And I flash forward. Flash forward to the- Oh! Why are you getting punched? So he kind of was like someone he looked up to, and he literally got handed down the hat. <gasps> He's still trying to retrieve the cross. That belongs in a museum. So do you. So do I. Wow, that's kind of like a compliment. Thanks, sir. No one throws me overboard. I jump overboard willingly. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> what was that ship holding? Oh, jeez. I'm surprised your hat stayed on, Indiana. Future Angier, with a very important question that I just thought of. During all these adventures, when does Indiana Jones ever sleep? But he must be like pumped up on so much adrenaline and like not really able to like get a, a good night's rest or even a good power nap in, or, or whatever. I need my power naps. Drift me off into that dream state of, 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 no, of nothingness, of unconsciousness, full on peace. Don't give me that look, this transition was immaculate. I exert a lot of energy as a person, if you can't tell from my line of work. <laughs> so that's why sleep is so important to me. Which is why I'm so excited to share Manta Sleep with y'all today because this product has saved my life. These masks fix that problem of taking forever to fall asleep or making those naps not feel really productive. They have so many options and styles, but I personally got two different types. And just looking at these two, you can see how it's like not made with like an elastic or something that always ends up being too tight or too loose and not comfortable. You can fit it just how you like it. And that was like my first impression about these masks and what enticed me to get them anyway. Okay, so the first one I wanna to talk to you about is the Cool Mask and it is so refreshing, so soothing. These are especially good for when you get like puffy eyes or like dark circles, which is a problem that I tend to have. The second one though is the GOAT of all sleeping masks. It is 100% blackout. What's different about this one though is that it actually has built-in Bluetooth razor-thin headphones with adjustable ear straps so that you can listen to music or white noise. Personally, I like white noise. I love it during the day when my apartment complex gets a little noisy or if my boyfriend's like playing video games or cooking or something and I really want to drown out that noise, this will knock me out. Check out Manta Sleep using my link in the description below and use code ANG10 to get 10% off your purchase today. Big thanks again to Manta Sleep for sponsoring today's video. And now back to the commentary. So forget any ideas you got about lost cities, exotic travel, and not follow maps to buried treasure, and X never marks the spot. Except for Indy. Teach them young like this, you know, so that no one follows in your st footsteps and that all the treasure belongs to you. Indy, I see what you're doing here. So that all the cool stuff lands on you, you know? No one steals your business. Oh God. It's never good when one person approaches you from the front and another one's there to seemingly catch you from the back. <laughs> to the temple where the cup that, where the cup that holds the blood of Jesus Christ resides forever. The Holy Grail, Dr. Jones. The chalice used by Christ during the Last Supper. As in like the, the Last Supper, as in he was like, drink this in remembrance of me? Do you guys hear that wind? I'm like genuinely scared. Every man's dream, including your father's, I believe. Uh, ooh, father is a sore subject. Attempt to recover the grail is currently underway. But nothing can be good with uh, eternal life, you know, like it's like a fountain of youth situation. I'm getting at. Why don't you try my father? We already have. Your father is the man who's disappeared. No way. So now he's gonna do it because he's gonna have to find his father. Oh my gosh. His father's missing. He's got the holy grail, which was his father's dream. Oh my gosh, spicy. I like the setup in this one. The search for the cup of Christ is the search for the divine in all of us. But if you want facts, Cindy, I've none to give you. At my age, I'm prepared to take a few things on faith. It's one thing to believe that the cup exists. It's another thing to believe that it gives you eternal life. I find it really funny because like a big portion of Christianity is supposed to be like, believe in me and you have eternal life, right? As, as Christ's words. And this movie is taking, in, uh, is taking faith 
completely onto the cup of Christ instead. <laughs> Which I think is very funny. It's like, oh uh, yeah, sure this guy said to believe in him, but can we talk about this cup really quick? <laughs> yes. I knew it was you. Love interest? And my mother's ears. The rest belongs to you. Uh, what a line, Indy. Smooth. He's got the riz. What's this one? The Ark of the Covenant. Are you sure? Pretty sure. <laughs> Are you sure? Pretty sure. Oh, rats. Better than snakes, let me tell you. Better than snakes. A thousand times better than snakes. We found it. Look. So much dust in this movie. I feel it all in my nose. Never would have made it past the rats. He's scared to death of them. You're scared to death of snakes that you made past. Oh. Hey, under. Is that like scientifically accurate? Because I don't actually know. Oh, the poor, the poor mice. They just want to be safe too! Oh wow! Oh that's nice! That's good. My name is Kasim. And why were you trying to kill me? The secret of the Grail has been safe for a thousand years. And for all that time, the Brotherhood of the Cruciform Sword have been prepared to do anything to keep it safe. Oh, that's kind of respectable. He's just trying to keep it safe. I mean, there are other ways to keep it safe, you know? You don't have to murder everyone that tries to go after it. My guess is dad found out more than he was looking for. And until I'm sure, I'm gonna continue to do things the way I think they should be done. How dare you kiss me? Yeah, put your foot down. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> Farther than him and what's-her-face last movie, Willie. Have ever gone. This? Oh, before time. Oh. <laughs> oh god. That gun and caught a sniffle. How you expect? <laughs> Wait, why is he like actually so good at that? And if you are a Scottish lord, then I am Mickey Mouse. How dare he? <laughs> Plan to knock him out. <laughs> oh my god, the Nazis again? They're always up to no good. The snake statues, love it. Oh, that was such a cool shot. Who are you? Junior? It is you, Junior. Don't call me that, please. His dad? Wait, first of all, can we talk about that shot of like him coming into the through the window and you thinking that's Indiana Jones's shadow until it starts moving? And the head. Dad? Oh my gosh. I had a hunch once he said Junior, but I couldn't really remember what his nickname was earlier. His dad is such a dapper gentleman. Look at him. The inscription on Sir Richard Shield. Alexandretta. Alexandretta, of course. <laughs> Junior, you did it. <laughs> Love this guy. I like him. He's like more giddy than Indiana Jones. There were rats, Dad. Rats? Yeah, big ones. And they weren't that big, but I also grew up in New York and nothing is grosser than New York City rats. Those are like a fourth of the side of New York City rats. They are cuties compared to New York City rats. Dr. Jones. Yes. yes. They're both doctors and they're both Jones. <laughs> Do you think my son would be that stupid? He would bring my diary all the way back here. You didn't, did you? No, I didn't. I should have mailed it to the Marx Brothers. Will you take it? I should have mailed it to the Marx Brothers. The father-son bickering. Oh, it's on. I'm to save you, Junior. I told you. Don't call me Junior. <laughs> Look what you did. Believe what you did. <laughs> yeah, he's just uh, a more wholesome version of Indiana Jones. Indy's like prepared to do what he has to do, and the dad is more like tame, wholesome. I'm sorry. Sorry for what? She's gonna take the diary. Oh, she's gonna betray him. She's on their side. Oh, you got played. Oh, that's wild. The player gets played. How did you know she was a Nazi? She talks in her sleep. She talks in her sleep? <laughs> you 
guys both slept? That is so funny. It's perfectly obvious where the pages are. He's given them to Marcus Brody. Marcus? You didn't drag poor Marcus along, did you? He's got a two-day head start on you, which is more than he needs. Yeah! I believe in Brody. Uh, does anyone here speak English? Or even ancient Greek? I've watered it. <laughs> He's having a hard time. <laughs> Understand a word I'm saying here. Mr. Brody! <gasps> Sala! That's awesome. The director of the Museum of Antiquities has sent a carpet. Your servant, sir. And I am his. Okay. Mm I don't trust these two at all. Papers, please. Papers, please. Papers. Find the back door! Find the back door! Oh, where is he going? Well. I guess it's safer that he doesn't know. <laughs> Ugh, you're the worst. Disrespectful, uh, condescending. What am I looking for? My lucky charm. It looks like a cigarette lighter. Very good. Oh my goodness. Oh, you're gonna blow on it too? Why would you blow on it? Further igniting the fire. The floor's on fire. <laughs> and the chair is the table. Ah, oh, Everything is igniting so fast. Jeez. Indiana didn't get his uh, dexterity from his father, let me tell you. These ropes are. Whoops. Oh, that's convenient. Oh, that's so convenient. Our situation has not improved. Listen, I think it has improved. <laughs> yeah, they were up the fire chimney. <laughs> Poor Henry. You say this has been just another typical day for you, huh? Come on, Dad. Come on. What about the boat? Not going on the boat. Gotta <laughs> misdirect them. Take notes. Come on. Oh, a little motorbike. That's awesome. His <laughs> dad is hating. <laughs> he, the dad is like the willy of this one. Just like, this is nowhere up my alley. I am a scholar, Christian man. Did not sign up for this. Oh, nice. He's about to joust him. Nice. That works. Nice. Good little javelin throw. Dad is so disappointed in his son. The only thing that matters is the grail. What about Marcus? Marcus would agree with me. Two selfless martyrs. Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, why'd you slap me? Blasphemy. Oh, using my, the Lord's name in vain. <gasps> Book burning? Crazy. That was like an actual thing, which is like so tragic. And just like... A representation of the mass genocide to come. <laughs> or have already happened, you know? Yeah, not a pleasant sight, huh, Elsa? Caroline, doctor? Where is it? Give me my diary. You stood up to be counted with the enemy of everything that the Grail stands for. Who gives a damn what you think? You do! Don't ask for my sympathy, you used me! Girly pop? What the heck? Is he signing his name? <laughs> Stupid. It's actually, actually it's the stupidest thing ever. <laughs> he runs into Hitler and he freaking signs the book for him. Oh my god, that was awesome. That was amazing. Honestly, the comic relief I needed. It's been so tense for the last however long. I remember the last time we had a quiet drink. Oh, you were a kid. Did I ever tell you to eat up, go to bed, do your homework? No, I respected your privacy. A good father would have done that. What do you want to talk about? Hmm? I can't think of anything. Then what are you complaining about? You're horrible. What are you complaining about? Shut up. That's the whole complaint, is that I can't even think of anything to talk to you about, because we have no relationship. I didn't know you could fly a plane. 
Fly, yes. Land, no. That is true. He has only ever crash landed. Yeah, at 11 o'clock! What happens at 11 o'clock? Well, the 11th time! 11 o'clock, fire! <laughs> amazing <laughs> what happens at 11 It'll literally be me oh don't hit your own plane oh gosh john i'm sorry they got us they got us <laughs> it was him who did it <sighs> what a shot look at that oh wow that's crazy they don't come any closer than that. <gasps> Spoke a little too soon, Dr. Jones. Senior. I gotta call him Papa Jones. That's what I gotta do, because they got the same name. What can I do? And it just doesn't feel right to call someone in a, uh, in a suit and a bucket hat by their first name. <laughs> oh, he's trying to get a, a bird to hit the plane? That's crazy. Those poor birds, honestly. Nice, very badass. Germany zero, Papa Joe's one. Oh, hey. We have no time to lose. Indiana Jones and his father have escaped. You're still working for this guy. After the whole, like, pity me moment that happened? Are you kidding me, Elsa? She's the worst. Bring back Marion and Willy. We like those two. What do you think you're doing? Get down. Dad, we're well out of range. <laughs> the reflection of your binoculars, sir. Come on. Oh, yeah, and this guy. I'm rooting for this guy. I like this guy. And you stay here while Sal and I organize some transportation. For those of you guys who informed me down in the comments below that Sala was Gimli, you guys are the homies and understand me so well. <laughs> the first thing Reese told me was that he was also the voice of Gimli, and I fangirled so hard, and I finally saw two and two together. It's just so good. I knew he was familiar too. I'm like, he sounds familiar. He looks familiar. Ah, that genius of the rest of the Aid our own resuscitation. Henry, what are you doing? Oh, that was so cute. What the heck? It was like a little handshake or something. What is this book? That miserable little <sighs> diary of yours. Oh, do not slap me with your glove. Slap me again, see what happens. That goose-stepping morons like yourself should try reading books instead of burning them. Yeah! Very true! <laughs> reading books instead of burning them. Yo, he just went for your intelligence score. <laughs> Idiot dumb dumb poo poo has. Maybe you should read books instead of burning them. Mike Drop from Papa Jones. Nice! Henry, the pen. What? The pen is mightier than the sword. <laughs> the pen is mightier than the sword. <laughs> I love these two. Getting out in their own fashion. Indiana Jones might be the brute forest, you know? But these fine gentlemen are taking out guys in their own way. I love it. Oh gosh, man. This is like my favorite thing about Indiana Jones. <laughs> Ooh. Perfect timing and close calls. It's just so good. Destiny is literally on his side. And it's the coolest thing ever. Hang on, Dad. You guys gotta hurry up. Sala to the rescue! Father of Indy! Father of Indy! <laughs> Call him Papa Jones. Oh no. Cool shot. I just wasn't ready, Marcus. Aww. Did Indiana hear that? Oh, they're all crying. <laughs> oh, that lost you, boy. Aww. Why are you sitting there resting? So near the end. Come on, let's go. He just had a near death experience. Give him a second. His hat came back to him. I love that. Just took a trip. Oh, super cool. Oh. 
Dare I say, I hope this blows up in their faces. <laughs> okay. Oh, they don't know. The booby traps. Make a deal. Expected to see you again. Don't talk to me. Don't even look at me. Shooting me won't get you anywhere. You know something, Dr. Jones? You're absolutely right. <gasps> Dad. What makes you think that he's gonna work with you now? <laughs> How dare you? Leave Papa Jones alone. An attentive man will pass. He's gotta bow his head. Bow. Jeez. Name of God, Jehovah. Oh, in like Greek or Hebrew or something? Or Latin, Latin, Latin. Jehovah begins with an I. J. <gasps> you can't spell it in plain old English, you know what I mean? H. Oh. <gasps> oh, careful, la. He can't help it that the stones are tiny. Last challenge? A <laughs> How do you plan on getting past that, sir? Is it like a faith walk? A leap of faith? You just gotta do it? It's a leap of faith. Oh! I said it first! It's literally terrifying. Oh, and it blends in. It's like an optical illusion. That's so awesome! That's so cool. Who are you? Oh, 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 oh. I, are you okay? Oh, sir, oh no. I don't wanna hurt you. Are you all right? Who are you? The last of three brothers swore <gasps> an oath. That's so cool. He better not shoot this guy. That's all I'm saying. Leave this poor 700 year old man alone. You must choose. Unless, choose although if he kills him, then he has to guard the grail for the rest of his life. So I vote that, even though you don't deserve to die. But then also it'll be like a fate of peace. He did his job. This certainly is the cup of the king of kings. Except it probably isn't. There's some nasty water just sitting there for 700 years. <laughs> oh yeah, you're dying. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Ooh! Oh, that's literally terrifying. That is so scary. What the heck? Man's turned to dust. He chose poorly. He chose poorly. It would not be made out of gold. That's the cup of a carpenter. He's pretty confident if he's just gonna drink it like that. You have chosen wise. Nice. Aw, heal up, Papa Jones, come on! Some nasty water is all I'm saying. Probably, most likely, percent. Ah! Ooh, it's sizzling! Ooh, it's bubbling! Oh, I don't like that! Why did you do that? Oh! It's kinda cool, though. I did it! Look, here it is! This is the chalice! I love how it's not like an extravagant cup or anything. It's just a very simple chalice. Uh, don't cross the seal! The knight warned us not to take the grail from here! This is what happens when you're greedy, Elsa! Elsa, don't Elsa. Elsa. I can reach it. Oh my gosh, you can- Girl! You gotta learn your lesson! You can't have the cup anyway! Oh my gosh. Into the abyss. I can't hold on! I can get it. It's like the Lord of the Rings, I swear! Indiana? He's calling him Indiana! Let it go. It was like the Ring of Saruman. <laughs> oh, I love that! That's so cool. Literally so cool. The knight is proud of them. Elsa never really believed in the grail. She thought she'd found a prize. What did you find, Dad? Illumination. Aww. What an enlightening journey for both you and Indiana. What does it always mean? Is this Junior? That's his name. Henry Jones Junior. Like Indiana. We named the dog Indiana. We named the dog Indiana. <laughs> dog. <laughs> you 
Ron named after the dog. That's so funny. His name is actually Henry Jones Jr. Sounds about right. That's awesome. Oh, and they're riding off into the sunset. And look at that sunset. It's so good. Oh. You know what just this shot reminds me of in the Fablemans? Fablemans, Steven Spielberg movie, how he learned to keep the horizon low, you know, to like really expand the perspective. Oh, I love it so much. What a great ending, just having the theme crescendo in. You know I love a good crescendo. And they're just running off to the sun. And look at this shot. Post for the credits? Are you kidding me? Oh, this is awesome. And what a twist. I fully was like, you know what? Here's another, another beautiful girl, love interest. And then Steven Spielberg was like, nah. Okay, also I fully know that it's Spielberg. I just keep going Spielberg. Cause I call murder schmurder and this is just what I do, okay? I love how he just like always keeps us on the edge of our seats, impresses us in new ways. And like, he wants to keep the audience guessing, you know? And like really trying to figure it out and keeping them entertained throughout. The whole plot line with his father was excellent and I can see why this is people's favorites, probably because it has to do with our main character's family and his upbringing and like really making it full circle from his childhood to now. A lot of the, you know, questions of why is that, that hat so important to him, you know? Like, why don't, why doesn't he just leave it behind? And Spielberg was like, this is why. <laughs> you know, giving that answer to, to all of our questions. So great, loved it. 10 out of 10 in my book. And this might be my favorite one out of the three as well. Very close to the sec. I really like the second one too. The first one I really like, like because it was like the first Indiana Jones experience. Nothing can ever really beat the first, you know? But the second one, just man, Short Round, the chemistry that he had with Short Round was so, so good. Honed in on the darkness after they saw the second one and like people probably responding great to like, you know, people exploding and melting, their faces melting off. Like really just hit the mark for the second one. It's like, let's go all out. We got hearts being ripped out of people's chests, you know? So that's why I really like the second one. The action and Short Round also really Really brings that one up there but this one yeah it brings that level of deep understanding of our main character that we know and love so this one probably that's why this one is kind of battling for that first place let me know what you guys think in the comments down below which one of these movies is your favorite i know a lot of your favorites are last crusade but if not tell me why thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed that commentary make sure you leave it a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't yet already so you can stay tuned to all my content and don't forget to check out my last video if you guys want to check out the full length uncut commentary to this movie make sure to check my patreon page we also have a whole percy jackson series that is patreon exclusive and i'm gonna be starting some new series for a uh, patreon exclusive content so yeah check it out Alrighty, y'all have the best day ever and i'll see you guys in the next one bye okay bye okay bye okay bye